There we go. This the final. Final. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us for post game here. Uh, we'll get started with questions for Tierra McCowan. Uh, can you raise your hand or send me a note in the chat. Uh, JL, want to start? Anything for T? Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay. Well, the music's still going on, but um, this huge, huge um improvements on defensively started the, the improvement started last game with you know stopping Dewana and John Hell well but how did you feel that carried into this game today for, I'm sorry it's so hard to hear okay how do you feel like the adjustments from last game carried into today's game defensively um, well, we went back and looked at film, and we realized that we didn't get enough stops on uh, defense the first time. So we just went back and looked at our coverages, and we executed the game plan that the coaches gave us, which we switched up a few things on um, Bonner and as well as on John Cole Jones. So, I mean, we just went out there and took what our coaches gave us, and we executed it. All year, the story has been falling down behind late and trying to come back. You were, you were with the Sun the whole game. What was that like being able to, you know, not have to worry about pulling off huge runs to come back and, and just being able to play the game? I mean, it's all on us, you know, we fought for that, you know, so nothing is given. So we went out there and we actually fought. Um, it was a team effort. So, I mean, there was no drop off tonight, no matter who came in the game. So I feel like that's what we need night in and night out. I mean, tonight was just real special. Our team was all dialed in. So workforce. Yeah, you mentioned the team effort. It just seemed like everybody had big moments, clutch moments, Victoria, Kelsey, you. Just how much how much more satisfying does that make the win? Um, very, because, you know, everybody's playing a role and nobody on the team is just like, oh, well, you're scoring all the points or you're scoring all the points. No, I mean, everybody's scoring, so everybody's happy. So as long as we get a win, I mean, and everybody's scoring, it really doesn't matter. Obviously, it's been a long six weeks, but this team has made strides with every game going from blowouts to close to close losses to now. Just how rewarding has it been being able to see this improvement and it finally play off, pay off? I mean, this is what we've been working for. Every day we go to practice, you know, our practices are intense, you know. And so it's just like we have to relay practice over to the game. So we've been practicing very hard up until, you know, these two games um, the past week. So, I mean, it just transferred over, you know. It's time for a change, so we're getting there. I know it's just after, but uh, you know, any any plans come into your head to celebrate the win tonight? Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. How many minutes I play? Twenty-seven. Sleep. It's <laughs> a good idea. Okay. Great Thanks. morning, you guys. Thank you. Good night. <sighs> All right, we got Kelsey Mitchell in here now. Questions for her? Go ahead, JL. Kelsey, really big team win today. You hit big shots. Victoria, uh, Tierra, just everybody pitched in for the win. How much more? Did, how much more satisfying does that make it? Uh, it's very satisfying. It's it's a relief to show that our work is kind of like you know coming in fruition. It's exciting because, you know, we get a chance to keep getting it right. You know, it, it feels good to know that we get a chance to come back and keep keep playing and keep battling. So it feels good. You know, last few games heading into the fourth quarter, you were right. The team was right there and then just wheels fell off. As Connecticut was responding and you were going back and forth, clutch buckets, what was, what was the team telling each, what was the team telling itself to stay locked in? Uh, it was just a lot about, uh, obviously, we're dealing with a team that's, like, the best of the best. So we got to stay and locked in. You know, we have some success. You can't get complacent, that kind of thing. Uh, knowing defense assignment, you know, John Cole Jones is a really great basketball player. So you got to know assignment. Brianna Jones is a really great basketball player. So you got no personnel. So we kept, we kept reiterating those things, and I think it paid off. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know the adjustments for – John Quell and Dewana and Brianna started last game, 
How do you feel like those transpired today? Uh, I think it, I think it, it definitely transitioned over to what we needed to do. Um, it's all about just battling, man. It's life's a grind, and as long as we stay focused on the work, I think the outcome will come later. You know. What has been the message? throughout this streak? I mean, obviously you, you knew at some point it was gonna end, didn't know when, yeah. but what, did you, what was the message throughout it to keep spirits high? Uh, keep fighting. Um, we all know what it's like to obviously be at the bottom. We know what it's like to kind of like get to the point where, you know, no wins are coming your way. You gotta take a thousand losses just to get one win, you know? So we kept reiterating that the work is there. The, the work is, you know, what we're gonna be successful at. And we stuck with it, um, every practice, um, every, Every workout, you know, every shooting, shooting, shooting workout, it's everything. Anybody else have anything for Kelsey? No? Okay, thank you, Kelsey. And we'll bring D-Rob in next. D-Rob. Hey, she a killer. Don't push me. <laughs> All right, I'll start with questions for D-Rob here. Hey, D-Rob, it's, it's good to see you smile after a game. Just <laughs> how you feeling right? How you feeling right now? Just fresh off the win. Uh, man, I felt great. I'm just happy for this team. Um, you know, we, we've been working hard, um, you know, and, and unfortunately, you know, the games haven't been showing that, but we've been working our asses off, excuse my language. Um, so it's, it's good that, you know, uh, we got another one. Um, we can smile after this one to know that we, uh, everybody played, um, as hard as they can, and we play for each other, and that's all we can do at the end of the day is continue, continue to compete, um, continue to work hard, and grow each and every game. Yeah, it was just a team win today. Seemed like everybody was ready for their particular moment. Kelsey yeah. in the four, it's Victoria's threes, Sierra, mm -hmm. just, and even you. Just what was it like, you know, playing in a game with this states, you know, game being close throughout the entire its entirety. Yeah, well, we um, always instill confidence in each other. Um, you know, we, we make each other better every single day. And so it's nice um, to see people flourish. Obviously, Tori coming in, hitting those threes, Tiff attacking the basket, T making a clutch shot, um, you know, at the end of the game. So just really excited for everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, and just, you know, we're going to enjoy this one for sure. The last few games, you, you were right there in the fourth, just didn't go your way. What were you telling yourself throughout the fourth quarter as they were battling back and yeah, just stay composed. Um, you know, like I said, we believe in each other. We knew uh, we, we trusted coach's direction, uh, the plays she was calling, and just getting shots on goal. We knew that if we got shots on goal, running, running our stuff and executing it well, um, that we were going to come out on top. And so I think that's what we did on the stretch. Obviously, Kelsey gave that jumper in transition. Like I said, T, um, you know, got that layup at the end. So just uh, taking care of the ball was the biggest thing. You know, last time they got, you know, 18 points in the first half, and then I think another seven in the second um, off our turnover. So we didn't turn over tonight um, as much. We only had seven. So uh, more shots on goal for us means more buckets, um, make them have to guard a little bit more. You got some time before you have to get back at it. What do you feel like should be the emphasis these next few days to keep the momentum going? Yeah, just defense. Um, you know, we held uh, one of the top scoring, um, you know, teams in the league to 29 and a half. Obviously, they have great players. And so we know that we can do that any single night every single night um it's just about will and like i said we work hard enough that we deserve um you know to continue to play this well and so i think that's what we're gonna have to have, just have to focus on defense and rebounding anybody else have anything for d-rob no okay thank you danielle we'll bring coach stanley and wrap it up All right, everybody. Thanks uh, again for joining us today. We'll have Coach Stanley on now. We can start with questions for her. Uh, JL, want to start? Hey, Coach. Just first off, how good does it feel to, to get one under your belt? 
Oh, it was a terrific win. I mean, we played with a lot of uh, intensity and, and competitiveness, and uh, you know, I'm just happy for our team. Uh, we've been working hard to get a, a win like this, a quality win against a, a terrific opponent, and uh, I'm just happy that we did all the things well that we talked about, taking care of the ball, defending, getting stops when we needed them, the things that have been you know, challenging for us in all these losses, you know. So, you know, today we put it all together and uh, got a really good win against a very good team. Couldn't be happier for our players, really. It really seems like the momentum of this win sort of started in the second half of Thursday's game. Just how do you feel like that momentum sort of carried into the day, into a, a good start and just 40 minutes of complete basketball? Yeah, I think you're spot on. I mean, it did start in the last game because we felt like with the 25 turnovers we had, we, we helped them too much. When you turn the ball over that much, it's really hard to overcome that and win. So we, you know, we just looked at, hey, what are we doing uh, that we need to fix to be better in this one? And that was, a, that was you know, uh, exhibit A, you know, you know, keep the turnovers down. What was it, seven? They got six points on seven turnovers. That's, that's terrific against anybody, but against a team like them, really, really good. So uh, I think um, we learned a lot from that last game, which is one of the benefits of playing somebody two times in a row. You get to fix it immediately and look at it immediately and be better the next time. And we've been talking about trying to be better every time we, we go out, whether it's practice or a game. And I think our, our players have definitely take that, taken that to heart. And we, uh, you know, we were better today than we were the other day. And uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of categories, defensively, rebounding, turnovers, all those were good. As a coach, how rewarding is it to put your players in a position and they succeed? I mean, Victoria was hitting clutch shots today. Tierra was huge. Betty, you know, strong start from her. Just how rewarding was it to see all your pieces come together? Well, yeah, very, because, you know, our players are, work hard. They want to win. And, you know, we, we just put it all out there today. Nobody held back anything. And, and I had a good feeling throughout the game because, you know, I could see the passion in our players. Nobody looked, you know, um, concerned, you know, overly concerned. We didn't get, you know, hanging our heads and, and worrying about the mistake. We just went to the next play. And, and that's what you have to do in the game. But we finally did that for 40 minutes. Okay. It wasn't a perfect game, but we were good enough in the areas that have been problematic for us um, that we were able to get the win. And, and, uh, you know, getting stops when you need, need them is going to serve us well no matter who we're playing. Keeping the turnovers down is going to serve us well no matter who we're playing, okay? Um, neither team shot it particularly well, but I thought, you know, they're one of the best defensive teams in the league, and I think we are becoming better and better defensively with each game. So, um, you know, just great play from our bench in, in, in uh, situations. Victoria, for sure, came out and just do, did what she does. And I know she's got to be excited because it's been a struggle for her up until this point, but I'm happy for Tori because uh, she showed what she's capable of doing. Uh, Jessica Breland has been injured and I thought she gave us some, some great minutes, particularly on the defensive side uh, off the bench. So, um, you know, I could go right down the list. And of course our starters, you know, some of them played heavy minutes and they just stayed focused, played with boys and did what we asked them to do. Yeah, just uh, speaking of Jessica, I know, you know, she's battling back with her injuries, but you you trust her late in the game. Just what did you see from her today that, you know, in, that made you feel comfortable putting her in that position? Well, she's a four who's mobile and also defends really well. So I felt like her length and, and defensive ability would bother JJ. And I, I think that that definitely happened. So, you know, she just... Uh, you know, she didn't have to play heavy minutes today. She only played 16 minutes, but they were very productive and uh, very effective in the situation she was in. Um, you know, I do want to say that, you know, I think uh, Kelsey, Tiffany, and Danielle, the three guards in the starting court, really did a good job of managing the game, picking and choosing their spots, uh, you know, to try to score it. They were all good defensively. And so, like, the floor game we got uh, from the guard court was really, really terrific. So... Um, you know, just it was a great team win. I mean, everybody that, that played had a role, and um, I'm just happy for our players. It's been a long time coming. I think you saw glimpses today of the team we thought we could be, and uh, we just want to continue that. You know, we want the next time to be the same. You know, come out with the same fire, passion, team play, 
and cohesiveness that we had today. Uh, Tristan, did you have one for Marianne? Uh, no, I was going to ask about Breland. Okay. Anybody Thank else you. have anything for Marianne? Hi, Marianne. This is Pat. Um, I'm just wondering about your execution down the stretch. You guys were able to get uh, three consecutive buckets on those final three key possessions. What did you see as the reasons why you guys were able to execute so well? Well, we found something that worked and then, you know, our players just stuck with it. You know, we've been trying, uh, as you know, you know, finding uh, something that can get us buckets uh, late game has been a little bit of a struggle. You know, we've been very inconsistent. And uh, when we, you know, had an opportunity to get the ball in D Rob's hands, uh, you know, they played her differently in the pick and roll than they did Kelsey. So we moved Kelsey uh, off that and, and gave the ball to D Rob and she was very, very effective. So, you know, and our bigs did a good job of rebounding and, and screening and, and getting our guards open. So, um, you know, it's like the old saying goes, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. D-Rod was going, so we just we just kept going back to that well, and, and uh, she produced. Anybody else have anything for Marianne? No? Okay, well, thank you again, everybody, so much for joining us. Thank you, Coach, and we'll talk thank to everybody you. next time.